Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It is so nice to see you. Thank you for uh, returning. For those of you who are uh, current subscribers, I certainly appreciate you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And I certainly hope you will like and subscribe. Um, we'll have a lot of fun together. This is a quick unboxing video before I head off to the gym. Oh, why is it so hard? Um, and I wanted to share with you because I definitely want to get this girl open and start wearing her. Um, but I wanted to just do a brief unboxing video of the Chance, um, the original Chance Eau de Parfum. And this is, excuse me, this is a 3.4 ounce bottle. Uh, I bought this yesterday. Uh, it was Sunday, November 1st. And through November 9th, um, they, Macy's is having, having their uh, friends and family 15% off. I often freelance for Chanel and, um, and I would encourage you call Macy's at Mission Viejo Mall in California from wherever you are in the country. They will ship to you. You can ask for Mary at the beauty counter. You can ask for Andrea. You can ask for Catherine and um, they'll take good care of you and be sure to get you whatever fragrance or beauty product you're looking for. 15% off for friends and family. So, um, here we go. This is Chance Eau de Parfum. This is one of, um, I think, the most underrated or underrecognized Chanel fragrances, I should say. Um, and it is so wonderful, absolutely wonderful. This bottle, 3.4 ounce, is 135. There is also an Eau de Toilette. I love the Eau de Parfum. Um, it, it's absolutely sparkling and radiant and effervescent and beautiful. And I'll tell you how it's classified. Um, this price, the price point for the uh, 3.4 ounce, say it, don't spray it, is uh, 135. And let's talk a little bit about how it's described um, by Chanel. So Chanel says it's unpredictable in perpetual movement. What, I just love language. I think that that's true. It just has this very fluid and energetic um, tone behind it. And, and it definitely energizes you. It definitely um, is invigorating and happy um, and warm and bright. Um, so it says that it's an unexpected floral fragrance, not too florally though, um, that sweeps you into its whirlwind of happiness and fantasy. Hmm. I agree. Uh, the composition, Chance is a fragrance created like a constellation, a composition like an olfactory sphere that opens in infinite movement at the heart of this sphere is a sensuous balance warmed by vanilla and pronounced jasmine absolute with iris. That's probably why I like it. I'm not usually a fan of vanilla. I, I just don't love it. I think that it's such a hint of it, however, that um, it's not something that draws me away. I love the iris and I love the jasmine. There's a mysterious alchemy heightened by the intensity of white musk, and I like that too. Um, so let's get into this girl. So the um, Eau de Parfum uh, will have a gold trim on the box. The Eau de Toilette will be silver. I am not one that is, uh, and I've said this before in other videos, that is um, super particular about opening the sleeve. Although I think that some of these are a little easier to slide the box in and out of. Um, I mean, look at this. This is like all of my stuff. So I don't need to, <laughs> I don't need to save one more thing. Um, so I will get rid of the plastic wrap and just dive into this. Um, as with all things Chanel, detail is absolutely um, intentional. There's my German Shepherd outside. Here's the batch code 5405. Um, okay, so we're gonna open this lady up and chance uh the bottles are just lovely <laughs> if he's not in here with me he's outside and he's right outside my window so this is absolutely gorgeous on the top of the cap there is a double c logo and then you have the beautiful made in france uh, stamp on the bottom 
also um, is stamped with eau de parfum. There are so many knockoffs out there. Um, in fact, I was working yesterday at counter and somebody actually tried to return. It was so evident that it was a, a counterfeit. Um, the stem for the perfume to draw the perfume was pressed up against the side. The cap was not solid, it was plastic. It, it, was, it was such a cheap knockoff and I, I felt bad. I didn't have to deal with that. But uh, it was it was evident it was not real it was not a real Chanel perfume. Um, the batch code is also I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Uh, la 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 la. It is stamped here on the glass as well. Uh, it's etched in the glass. So there are things that that we look for um, to authenticate the the beautiful pink box there are flankers um, you've got au fraiche au vive and autan um, and i have those they're a little fruitier a little more floral um, i did not purchase those those were uh, gratis for me when i worked for chanel those are probably not fragrances that i would purchase for myself but i would purchase them for my daughter they're a little more in line with what she likes they're a little too sweet and sugary for me but um, the Chance Eau de Parfum is beautiful, has great projection. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. I'm just doing a little bit. And I believe, I'm not sure if this cap, this cap, unlike other uh, Chanel fragrances, does not have the double C logo inside of the, the top of the cap, which is supposed to be reminiscent of um, Dice, a die, I should say. Oh, um, I this this is a constellation. It does feel like it's moving. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, what are my thoughts on this? It's not sweet. It's not too flowery. I think the the jasmine and the iris um, are a beautiful combination. The white musk gives it a little bit of, of warmth to it and earthiness that I absolutely love. And here's something that I really enjoy about Chance. Um, it's identifiable in the sense that people recognize when you walk by, it's not overpowering, but, but people will often say, what is that fragrance? I really like that. Um, but it's also not like Coco Mademoiselle where you go, oh, that's Coco Mademoiselle and everyone at the grocery store or everyone in the mall, <laughs> except for now in COVID, we're not uh, spending that much time around one another, but I'm still in the grocery store <laughs> walking the aisles and I can smell Coco Mademoiselle. I don't want to smell like, you know, every other person, um, out there. Um, it is the number one selling fragrance. Number five is the most iconic. Um, I, 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 I want something very special and, and unique. And, and all Chanel fragrances really are spectacular. And Mademoiselle is a beautiful fragrance, um, but it's something that so many people have uh, that it's something that I've actually kind of moved away from in recent years, but you can't go wrong with it. So I feel like this story is complex. It's very clean and it's very fresh, but there's a lot of things going on. So you can't pick one or, or another thing out of it. Um, it. It just has this great story behind it. It's intricate, it's detailed. My dude, my big, my big dude out there. <laughs> Somebody must be walking by. Um, anyway, this is the beautiful bottle. It is similar in, in color, I think. Um, to the Chanel number no. five, it does look like this liquid gold. The cap is, it's not, it, it's not a, a true gold and it's not a true silver. I think. Oops, sorry about that. Um, but the color is kind of in between. It, it, it's almost just a lighter version of the fragrance color. And she is beautiful. It has this gorgeous metal detail that goes around the bottle uh, like a sphere. And then, of course, the beautiful cap, which is incredibly reflective. Um, just an absolutely beautiful, substantial fragrance. And I'm really surprised that I did not uh, incorporate this into my fragrance wardrobe sooner. Um, it's just, I, I think that I, I've i always um, thought in my mind I've had uh, Ovive and Autan and um, Eau Fraiche. Uh, in my mind as being something incredibly youthful 
um, primarily because my daughter and some of her friends and when I worked for Chanel, it was always a gift for someone in their late teens, early 20s and and I'm beyond that. Um, and it just didn't feel, it didn't feel good for me. Now it may feel good for you. And that's what's so beautiful about fragrance is that it's personal. It's an extension of your story, which is something I always talk about. Fragrance is so important because it reaches a part of the olfactory, the olfactory part of the brain, which in an instant uh, can transport you back to a special time or memory. And um, and so certainly consider if you've got a special moment uh, in your near future, consider um, choosing a special fragrance to help solidify that moment in time so that when you smell a certain fragrance in the future, it will take you right back and you can it, it actually will incite those same emotions. So fragrance is such a beautiful thing to experience uh, and I would encourage you to have more than one, <laughs> have more than one fragrance. Anyway, I thank you again, you guys, for spending some time with me. It is always a pleasure. Just a brief unboxing of the new fragrance that's going into my collection, and I need to clean this shelf up. That's my number five shelf. I've got a few other, Poudre is up there, Cristal is up there, and behind me um, on my the, the table at the foot of my bed, I've got more fragrance, so I need to, I need to declutter and organize. It's just been a little hectic. Anyway, friends, God bless you. Make it a wonderful day. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.